We are here at the Hytrix Community Development Trust, where we are currently preparing to install 16 computers that were donated by Dell, who is supporting CDI to create a new program called Apps for Good, where young people learn how to use, design and develop mobile phone applications for community action and social change. Today we're having our first test workshop where a group of community workers here in the local centre, um, youth workers who work um, with young people across the borough, see how they can design apps that are relevant to the local community. Just to kick things off, can you tell me some community issues that you'd like to have a go at tackling? Dogs, dirt and repairs. Probably to do with the youth and to do with other clubs and behaviour. Judgement and stereotyping. The gangs, the gun and the knife crime. Education. They want jobs, they actually want to find jobs, they want to do well at school. There's a range of ways that applications could help you. Really simple terms, they are just super useful applications. And they used to be stuck just with the applications that came on your phone. The good news now is, you can actually go and get your own applications over time and download them and put them on your phone. So whoever you are, whatever you need. What applications do is they meet your needs. This shift to smartphones, these app phones, it's inevitable. It's like moving from typewriters to computers. They've been around for about one and a half years and there's already been three billion downloads of apps. Whatever you're after, chances are there'll be an application that can do it or there's an opportunity for somebody to go off there and develop it. In many ways, mobile phones are becoming a lot more useful than computers. It's not like our generation where you may have to ask permission to use the phone or you had to wait till you yes, saw, yes. you know, <laughs> wait, I had to wait a week until I saw Daniel again to say to him, boy, football's all right, you know, but now, as soon as I, I leave school, I can tell them yeah. football is all right. Get there. I had two girls in here that are using their mobile phone. I said, do you ever remember a time when there weren't mobile phones? You what? And, 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 and they, and they, and they yeah. said no. And I said, well, where do you think mobile phones were invented? And they were sort of home calls. I said, well, did Jesus have a mobile phone? <laughs> and they said, no, no. I said, well, when do you think again? I said, oh, Victorian times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I run a youth organisation, I've always got young people doing things on their mobile phones so it's looking at how we can tap into that um, to, to, to get something positive out of it. Our core focus is on mobile app development but the focus is actually broader than that and it's to learn problem solving skills, learn analytical skills, use your creativity to actually change something you care about and think about technology as the tool to do that. There are three things I want to see happening. First thing is we develop an app and 100,000 people download it and use it for community action. The second thing is people look at community problems and start changing them. So there's significant change in the local community and you can point to that and say this was initiated by one of the courses. And the third thing is that you have stories of individual transformation. People who achieve things they never expected themselves to achieve. I kind of think if young people could get into work, then a lot of the problems that we're talking about could be resolved. Mm. That young person will still need something in them that will make them even want to use the app to want to get a job. Work, make them aware of what opportunities are there. So, you know, we could have an application maybe that our high trees hub. If it's got some way of accessing data which says, well actually, you know what, you're entitled to council tax benefit and you didn't know it, or you're entitled to this if you're a single mum. The best employers, the ones who have investors in people, it's in their interest mm. to basically feed oh, back. Sure. And I think if we could find a way of you know, making that link. We want to do something that's leading edge and inspiring. So in two years time, when anybody thinks about apps for community action, apps about things that are useful, they should be thinking about apps for good in CDI. For well, the first part of the app is a CV generator. What will happen, you click onto it and a nice little fancy thing comes up at the start with CV generator, maybe with a bit of music. This is about um, the key opportunities that are out there in terms of employment for young people. It's um, a development uh, skills app. By the end, um, everybody seems to have a good grasp of the value of these things, what was possible through the technology, and actually sketched out some pretty cool ideas that I don't think exist yet. I was really excited about seeing how with 20 people in five hours we came up with so many good ideas. I'm curious to see the whole community, what they can come up with in uh, the next few months.